Hi everyone, you just watched a commercial for the thing I'm literally holding in my hand. The total experience. Read it, it says it. Total experience for Star Wars Galaxies. Joining me as always, of course, is Ian Gibson. Hi! Uh, I always do that. Yeah. Um, he's joining me because we're cool and uh, mm. Yeah, not really. Story behind this, my brother, I think my brother bought this, or my brother and I bought this, brought it home, then realized we needed a subscription, so we never played it. But, still have it. Never done anything with it. Um, let me switch over. This is Server Quest, where we've been playing through old video games. And by video games, I mean MMORPGs. We have been playing through those. Oh, look at that nice... Oh, a little not oh, centered. That's disgusting. There we go. Um, yeah, who would have night long installed on their computer? Uh, I'm gonna turn. Well, you know what the problem is? What? We got browser windows open, so I just have a giant white screen in front of me. That's why my light balance is <laughs> off. You look really good. Oh well. Guess what, folks? Now you get pale. Love pale. Ian. Pale Ian. Okay, so Star Wars Galaxies. June 25th, 2003, a little uh, behind the scenes. We were going to play Second Life, and I did about two hours of legwork to get Second Life running. And then, um, turns out, Twitch banned Second Life in 2015 because of sexy things, which pretty much makes sense. But YouTube we, didn't ban it. <laughs> you know, if we had more balls, we would stream that and just have a blur over the entire <laughs> screen while we're streaming it. Well, because I went to, I was on Restream, <sighs> and I was like... First, also, we're Twitch affiliates starting today, uh, which also confused me because I built the whole YouTube version of the event. And I was like, that's weird. Second Life's on YouTube and not on Twitch. And then that <laughs> made me realize we weren't streaming on YouTube. And then that made me realize it was banned on Twitch. So we moved to the next game. Two days later, in 2003, Star Wars Galaxies came out. And uh, yeah, it was a heck of a game, apparently. Shut down in 2011 to make way for Star Wars uh, Old Republic, which I also own, <laughs> which is free to play now, I believe. Um, so yeah, yes. I, I signed in. This is the uh, SW, SWGMU. It's There's like four or five different private servers that uh, run Star Wars Galaxies, and this is like the main one. Um, so that's the one I downloaded. Thankfully, I've had it installed for a while, so everything kind of worked. Um, so this is the character collector, collector, creator, uh, what should I be? Um, oh my gosh, you should be a Wookiee. Wookie. Okay, I should be a Wookiee. A Wookiee bounty hunter, but you should be a blonde Wookiee. Okay, so I chose a Wookiee. Oh boy, that was a cute thing it made. Kind of like the spinning, kind of has oof to it. Did I pick a female? I don't... I'm gonna say, yeah. That looks like a female Wookiee. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I wanted to hit yes. I wanted to... No, it was a male. That's a female. That's a sexy female. I often forget the symbols for male and female. Like, when I'm... When I'm... Um, erect. That's the only way to remember it. <laughs> When I've shown one of them, I'm like, uh, but when I see both of them, I'm fine. Yeah. It's like, uh, when someone says right or left, I'm terrible at right or left. This guy auto-generated, and I'm kind of into it. Oh my goodness. Super muscly. I need to be, oh, should I be just as short as, no. Dude, the short's not funny. Well, yeah, short's not, because I feel like they wouldn't let you make an actually short, short Wookiee. Look how plump he gets. What do you think a short Wookiee is? Like six foot? Uh, yeah. Short Wookiee, yeah, six foot, I think. Why is that a gorilla? 
I don't know, but look his his head, big big brain. <laughs> Definitely tiny. <laughs> Definitely tiny, because then he looks like a brown gorilla. Make him not muscly. Oh. No, I like full muscles. I, I think I'm going with this. Oh, we're getting in there. Big eyes. I shit. Oh, rotate. Um. Yeah, I always wanted to play this game as a kid. Um, it always looked fun. It always seemed like a good time, like living out your Star Wars dreams. Uh, I was recently reading an article about like MMOs and stuff, uh -huh. and this was one of the first ones that like players did everything. You couldn't buy things from shops, so like if you wanted your hair done, you had to hire a player who had the uh, hairstyling skill. Oh, and okay. it, it turned into this whole system where there was like actually like an in-game mafia that ran things. Um, I remember there being like a pretty robust and player-involved economy in this game. But anyways, I, I have some history here. Maybe I'll read it as you're going through the character creator. Yeah, do it. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh my. There's more of uh, Why? Oh, are you supposed to be wearing like different but because you're a Wookiee, you don't wear a different one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That started out stripper and it went straight to muscle, man. That's... Oh my goodness. Um, okay, here's the history, folks. Star Wars is an American epic space opera media franchise created by George Lucas, which began with the eponymous 1977 film and quickly became a worldwide pop culture phenomenon. The franchise has been expanded into various films and other media, including television series, video games, novels, comic books, theme park attractions, and themed areas, comprising an all-encompassing fictional universe. The franchise holds a girl world records for the title for the most successful film for media franchise. In 2020, the franchise's total value was estimated at... William, How? what is the total value? Estimated total value of the Star Wars franchise. Oof. $14 billion. $70 billion. Wow. Now let's look at highest grossing media franchises. Uh... Oh no, it is it is 70 billion. That's weird. The franchise's total value is uh, yeah, Wikipedia worded it weird. Cuz their total value is not the same as revenue, but in here they're saying that it is. Hey, let's let's go through what do you think the number 1 media franchise what is the highest grossing media franchise in oh, history? Pretty sure it's Pokémon, right? Pokemon with one hundred billion dollars. What's number two? Mm, number two. It's not. What's Star Wars for reference? S Star Wars is number five. Number five. Wow. Number yeah. two. Hello Kitty. It is Hello Kitty. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe I got that. <laughs> oh. What the hell is Anpanman, which is number uh. six in? 56 billion. Would you call my mom? I don't know who this is. That's weird. That in darkness. Shonen, cloak figure. Shonen Jump is number eight. Wait, what's number four, three and four? So it's Pokemon, Hello Kitty, Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse and Friends, Star Wars, Anpan Man, Disney Princess, Jump Comics, which is Shonen Jump, Mario, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then I believe rounding out. Oh no, Marvel Cinematic Universe is number ten wow. with thirty-five billion. Uh, that's crazy. Cray, cray. It's the craziest of straights. Okay, it's the straightest of crays. Oops, I just typed a bunch of W. Oh, this is an this MMO. Use w A S D. Ticket Why don't terminal. you find a friend? Just have him do everything oh, for you. Oh boy. I did not uh, look up any controls. What do you think? Keyboard? Oh, so how much did you play this game as a child? Uh, never. You never played it? Yes. We purchased the game, came home. Mm -hmm. It said you need a monthly mm -hmm. subscription. So we mm -hmm. put it on the shelf. <laughs> so I think I played it twice. One time I played it for a month and I barely did anything. And that was around when it came out, maybe a year later. And then the second time was around, oh shoot, man, when did this game come out? This game came out in 2003. 
So the second time was around 2005. I played it with a friend of mine who was really into it. And I played it for about two months with him. But it was more just like he was like level 50 doing all this crazy stuff. And I was just like tagging along as a level five because I did not understand the game at all. <laughs> That's fantastic. I was just like, I like I barely knew how to walk to do anything. And I was just like, hi. Oh, whoa. Midnight's Fox. Good point. Wookiees are endangered. So please don't kill them. Is there a is there a word for when you kill your own species? Hey Google, is there a word for when you click on your and own choose a city species. from the selection? Oh, should I go? Oh, most easily for sure. <gasps> I found a website called Frontistry, and it's just a list of sides. Like Oviside is sheep killing. See, I, I think genocide is you have to try to take out a, a like a religious or racial sect. Starship genocide is taking out an entire race. I have no tools. Oh, hello. You know what, actually, homicide is killing a man. So would it be Wookie side? What is Wookie in Latin? Hey Google. What is Wookiee in Latin? <gasps> it doesn't know. <laughs> There's got to be a Latin translation of Star Wars. Sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, what if I... If, what is human in Wookiee? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Hey, Google? Hey, Google? Stop it! <laughs> oh man, I got so mad at my Google Home the other day because I was like, hey Google, what time it is? Or, yeah, I said, what time is it? She told me and she goes, also, did you know that? I go, I didn't ask you also. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are, if they didn't give them away so frequently, they would not be worth the money. <laughs> I'm like, I, I asked what the time was, not the time and how to make, she's like, you can set up profiles. I'm like, don't tell me what to shut do. Up. Just shut up. Okay, here we go. So human in Wookiee is... Um, so I think... Uh, actually, I'm just going to look... What is hom homicide in Wookiee? Oh, we're really doing this, aren't we? A land it is... Speaker. Oh, there's no way. I think this may be a real translator because it gave me something different. It's... Um, wow, I can't believe you just said that. That's Real bad Wookie. Okay. Jantawa, Jantawa. Jantawa, Jantawa. Jantawa. Actually, I'm sorry. I just noticed Midnight Fox asked if it's Linux on that terminal. Can you find a terminal? I want to I wanna check out that oh, sweet yeah. UI. Um, you know, I was thinking to myself when I was installing this, it'd be really fun to play a Star Wars RPG like MMO. I wonder if Old Republic is slightly worth it at all. Well, we're going to get there. We That's are. pretty good. Is that is that Star Wars though? That doesn't really look too Wait, Star Wars. Let me Wars. go back over to the. I think I was at a different one. Oh my gosh! That guy has a pet. This is huge. Is that a rancor? No, it's a mall. Mall and Paul. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just think. Oh. oh. The old republic is, is kind good. of boring. Well, we're gonna play it anyways. This is our series server quest where we are literally playing the first hour of every MMO. Yeah. I don't want to say ever made, but all the major MMOs. This is probably episode, like, what, 15, 16, something this like that? This is 15. Jeez. Um, yeah, I, I downloaded Lord of the Rings online to just test it out because one, one of my friends on Twitter uh, is a, plays a bunch of Lord of the Rings mm -hmm. online, and I, he always, like, retweets stuff. And I'm like, this looks cool, but, like, also really old. Even though they like still update it, yeah. These cool terms. Okay, I need to. Uh, you'd be surprised, Midnight Fox. The biggest difficulty is not necessarily downloading; it's finding working versions of the game. Yeah. Because it has to still have a server running, and then it's like, okay, I'm trying to find something, I'm trying to run something from like 1997. How do I get it running? How do I get it patched and updated properly? There's a so bunch... that I can then connect to the current server. Yeah, there's a bunch we skipped too because either they weren't that impactful or 
They were just a butt to figure out. Yeah. And we have to skip all the dead ones, the ones that don't even have a community server. Because this is a community server, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, but anyway, Star Wars Galaxies, this was released in June of 2003, developed by Sony Online Entertainment, which later became Daybreak Game Company. But they're basically the uh, Planet Side, Planet Side 2, EverQuest, EverQuest 2, Matrix Online. They did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, DC Universe Online. I didn't know they did that one. Um, I believe they are now. Oh, they're still around. They also do an H1Z one. Who is this? Uh, Daybreak, also formerly known as Sony Online Entertainment. Gotcha. Oh, Midnight's Fox. Good question. Baldur's Gate. Early access starts. Baldur's Gate 3, three weeks. Are you going to be hopping in, Will? Maybe. I, I really like Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, and I I started playing Wasteland 3, and that I was kind of like, oh, Baldur's Gate's going to be good. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, it'll, I don't know, because it depends on how they... I haven't really looked into it, but how are they structuring it? Because I don't want to, like put a bunch of effort oh, yeah. in before like the final game comes out no let me look up all right i'm just uh i'm looking up in the manual here how to do some things um like basic functions oh so he so uh he's got a friend in the closed beta it's very divinity too but a lot more detailed i saw some of the camera work is a lot better as well so they say this is back in april but they say it will be in early access for at least one year and says they don't want you to purchase the game just yet if you want a polished experience. Yeah. So Act 1 is the primary content for early access, which is around 25 hours of self-contained content. So it's not all of this stuff. I think one of my biggest gaming guilts is that I just can't get into that style of game. As much as I want to, I just I can't get into it. So I, I tried playing Divinity Original Sin two and it's a great game i just can't get into it just not for me i have a bow cast nice mm. can you go to a uh, cantina for me yeah let me let me walk around uh hey if you don't mind could you look up some sort of i i thought i checked the yeah. tutorial thing but if you could look up like starting uh Whatever the freaking game is. The speakers. A band fill. Okay. Did you skip the new player tutorial? Maybe. There's a checkbox to do it. I, I'm pretty sure it was green, so I thought I checked it. Okay, if you go to the game menu, go to the options menu, the keep map section. We'll give you controls. Oops. Game... What was it? Game menu. Go to the options. I only have credits and disconnect. Oh, that's weird. Actually, I wonder if I disconnect and then reconnect. Oh. Yeah. So, Midnight's, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out how to play the game. So, he's, he's guiding us. So, go back in. Yeah, I'll go back in. I'm back. Uh, is it... <coughs> That was control escape. I did control. Oh. Oh, oh for options. Oh. That makes that makes sense. We've encountered that shortcut before. You know, maybe the tutorial uh, is on because it's telling me all this stuff. Down below. Yeah. Yeah. So that key map button at the bottom of that menu. Oh. Auto run toggle. Okay, this is all sorts of good stuff. Stand up. Sit down. Toggle. Turn left. Turn right. Walk forward, up, down, left, yep. Yeah. yeah, I was just more of looking like where to go. So it will drop you at Tansari Point Station. Your character will be dropped off in the hangar bay with instructions to talk to Han Solo. <gasps> I went, I, I guess I chose my, oh, I think I know what happened. Oh, that's legends. I'm on, I'm on Mos Eisley. Oh. 
Yeah, because I, I got there and then I bought a ticket to Mos Eisley. That's okay. I'm just going to walk around and see what's up. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Thanks. Um, yeah, so let me just read a little bit more about Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, a lot of critical acclaim. It had three expansions through 2005. It was completely overhauled in the last expansion, which frustrated many longtime subscribers, according to Wikipedia. Um, it was shut down on December 15th, 2011. So that's a good eight years of operations. Um, it was shut down just five days prior to the release of The Old Republic. Yeah, because wow. I remember that because I, I bought The Old Republic and played that, and that was when it first came out. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did skip the... Oh, I can accept. Oh, so this is this is the crazy thing about this game, right? I'm going to read this Wikipedia article. Jedi were not available as a starting profession or even as an advanced profession. The developers stated only that certain in-game actions would open up a Force-sensitive character slot. The actions required were left for players to discover. It eventually turned out that characters had to achieve master level in random professions. At first, the players had to complete four first four had to complete four master level classes which were randomly chosen and unknown to the player. The developers then introduced holocrons which would inform the player the first, then after completion, second master class required. At various times, the number of master levels ra needed ranged from four to seven, and the number revealed for holocrons ranged from two to four. Because of the difficulty in obtaining a force sensitive Jedi character, the profession had many advantages in combat, often capable of taking on very powerful enemies or in defeating entire groups of other non Jedi characters in PvP combat. Wow. That's. Oh, the first force sensitive character slot was unlocked on November 7th, 2003, which, if I'm doing my math right, is a full five months after the well four plus months after the game came out jeez that's crazy that's oh hey hint of line oh what's up thanks for the congrats i i just love the idea of like that is everybody's like wet dream star wars fantasies i want to be a jedi and they're like well look it's an mmo for you <laughs> guess what we're not gonna make it easy <laughs> Okay, wait. Control. You gotta really work at it. I mean, it's not gonna be obvious. I love that. This is your data. Waypoint. <laughs> it's it's a line was a professional dancer in this game. I love it. That's awesome. Mm. I really wanted to get into the economy in this game, but I was just not smart enough to get the game. Uh um I just wanna figure out how to go do this mission. Uh, did you pull up the mission? Like your your journal or whatever? Yeah, I, I thought it was this thing. <laughs> that guy just like whipped past me. <laughs> Welcome to Star Guns. Wars Gal. Oh, I opened the holocron. That was a bad. Oh. That was a bad idea. In 2013, a former Sony Online Entertainment employee leaked a copy of the 2010 production release source code for the Star Wars Galaxy's client, server, third-party libraries, and development tools. So that's basically what you're playing right now is a leak of the full source code. What's this arrow? Dip in the air? Oh, I'm just typing because I keep trying to hit. <laughs> um, Troll and yeah, I really like brings my map. I really like the concept of this game. And it's just a Star Wars sandbox. It's good stuff. Yeah. I think, uh, honestly, I would make a new character, but you're only allowed to make a character every hour. <laughs> oh, really? Um, I might actually, offline, after this, try uh, just starting it fresh with a non-funny character. Seeing how Let me far see if you can just it. restart the tutorial. Oh, player-built cities. Ooh. Right. Oh, I do remember that. You could run your own shops and fill them with stuff that you found. And make money that way instead of just like a generic auction. UI. Yeah, the um, I pulled up that article that I had read. It said Star Wars Galaxies 2003 had 34 professions for players to pursue, with most with no combat role whatsoever. Instead, they were a vital part of how the world worked. For example, a change to change your character's hairstyle, you had to hire a player with the image designer profession. The other, 
The higher their skill, the better options they could offer, and they would set their price, or rather the free market would, or rather the guilds and mafias would. And then it says, players had formed governments, vehicles were very popular, the early game economy, which is intentionally rocky because players had not yet developed all the interdependence infrastructure, had started to hum along. Entertainers were going on tour, and a few of them were macroing because they played entertainers because they liked it. Oh, a few of them were macroing. People were building supply chain empires and businesses with hundreds of employees. Merchants were making a name for their shops full of custom crafted gear. That's crazy. This is a lot like EVE Online. Embrace the player economy. Yeah. What's up, Jawa? I'm fighting him! Oh, no. yeah. oh I kicked him in the face. Oh, <laughs> you just, you kneel. I, you have been was forced it, to kneeling. This attack was forcing you to kneel. Stop. <laughs> you're, you're typing again. Oh, whoops. Where am I? Oh, I stood up. Oh, I'm, I just keep being forced to kneel. Come on, kill him. What's my health at? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you're at like 60%. No! What was he Neo. like? Oh, someone oh, subscribed. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I didn't see who it was. Was it an owl? I'll pull up. Oh, a hint of lime. Thank you, sir. I'm assuming you're the, the very same Twitter, a hint of lime. Yeah! Flash. Isolation. Let us know how things are how things are going for you. I, I saw you working on a new game on it's Twitter. Me. Looks awesome so far. Oh yeah, the sand crawling thingy. Yeah, that looked like some real Star Wars Java stuff, and I'm into it. I have I'm pretty sure ever since uh, we met on my PC, I've had Godot downloaded but never opened it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to queue up attacks. Uh, please, Midnight's Fox. Midnight's Fox. <gasps> yes, I've been awarded six points of the Tuscan Raider faction. Yes. Oh. Join the Tuscan Raiders. Oh, just double click. Okay, so I was doing that. Join the Tuscan Raiders. I always remember that in um, Knights of the Republic, you could dress up as the Tuscan Raiders, and if you forgot to take it off when you went into town. Everyone would just like start attacking you. <laughs> oh boy. It's always great. I've never been able to finish that game because my save has always corrupted. I've never played it. I feel like I, I should at some point actually go back and oh. play that game. Oh man, my eyes have been opened. Oh no. To the to the what? I'm on this menu of professions <laughs> oh wow so i picked a scout what is oh surrender skills oh i see midnight, midnight fox says control s that's how you got to professions yeah for skills gotcha sorry i'm a little behind no that's no worries you idiot oh and then i can look at all professions jeepers shipwright oh so cool man i just really want i mean it's different now because games are games as a service now but like i really wish like another cool mmo would come out Something. you know you say that but i feel like games as a service is the perfect time for another mmo it's yeah. because there's very little difference the only difference is basically a subscription model versus microtransaction model but in terms of an ongoing game it's the same thing this requires six. Oh, I can just. Okay, so I'm a scout. Oh, can I become a basic pilot? Yeah, you you do seem pretty basic. This skill requires zero skill points to learn. So how do I how do I how do I learn it? Am I missing an option here? Oh, I need to find a oh. train. Or oh, I'm just oh, Trainer. I see. I'm just looking. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna go back into towns. 
Actually, so since we're having so much fun talking about this, how about I just switch topics completely? We've got some news to talk about, baby boy. News. Do, 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 do. Big news. Big news. Big news, folks. Big. Folks, it's been rumored for literally years since before the Xbox One X came out, but it's official. It's been announced. The Xbox Series S is real. It's two ninety nine. It's a four teraflop, digital only, fourteen forty p. 60 fps minimum up to 120 fps next gen xbox console will what's your hot take uh it looks awesome i like the cool design i like the where they place the like i like that instead of being like we got to shrink the fan that's on the x they just put it on the side of it (laughs) Mm -hmm. um i also it's i don't know it's cool like my friend's gonna grab one because he was like iffy on the series x but he's like oh for 300 yeah. bucks i'm just gonna grab the s uh, yeah just to play xbox stuff and i'm like yeah why not and then um yeah it was just it was a funny train of events that kind of sucked for microsoft but it got everything out there um which they must have been playing it soon if the pre-orders were going up on the 22nd um yeah because that, that's kind of like just to give you guys a timeline if you weren't paying attention so basically this uh, press guy leaked it in the middle of the night. I forget his name, but it's somebody who I, I had never heard of him before. Had you had you heard of him? Let me look up his name real quick. Oh, there's the cantina. I'm going over there. It's um, the type. Ty- it's it, it's the type of guy who, when he came out with it, basically um, all he had was an image, and it was a render of the console with some text on it saying the the price and the date. Yeah. Um. And then a and. Nut- yeah, so he he came out with that. Uh, was there was there another one? There was a guy who replied to it and said, "Oh, I guess I'll share this then." And it was the video. Oh, that's of right. the console. That's right. That was like that was like the 360. So so people started to run with it, and then basically middle of the night U.S. time, uh, the official Xbox Twitter account posted a meme, which was kind of just it's like the looking frog puppet who's just monkey puppet who's just kind of like, um, don't look at me, in a way. Which was like a subtle nod, and then four hours later, in the middle of the night, they basically said, "Yes, it's two ninety nine, and it's coming out November tenth." And then later that day, they came out with, "By the way, the Series X is four ninety nine, and it's also coming out on November tenth." Um, so we basically got the date and the price and a console skew all in yeah. one day on Twitter, which is it's pretty bonkers. Um, I, I think I, I'm not as crazy about the look. I do like the white better than the black of the the Series X. Yeah. Um, but I, but honestly, for that price point, it's I think it's what they needed. Where four ninety nine for a quote unquote next gen console, which Microsoft is really just selling as a really powerful extension of the current Xbox ecosystem, it's a little bit hard to buy because they don't really have exclusives, and there's not a whole lot of next gen exclusives. Period to carry it but basically selling for 299 a machine that gets you next gen capability at a really good price with a lot of performance behind it you know a lot of people are going to be fine with 1440p 60 fps upscaled to 4k if they have a 4k tv um i think i'm gonna get a there you go uh yeah i was just gonna say i think it's i think it's the type of thing where people couldn't swallow 500 but 300 it's the right price point yeah i i think i'm gonna get a series x because karen uh was saying she she wants to start playing stuff on xbox because a lot of her friends have xboxes so she Mm -hmm. was like hey if you get a series x i'll buy your one x off of you i was like yeah I, i mean i'll do that and then i have that old xbox one still that i could trade in "Quote unquote trade yeah. in if there's a deal like that. Um, well, so there's so that's the other thing is these consoles are two ninety nine and four ninety nine, but they also are continuing the Xbox All Access plan, which they started about a year or two ago. I think they started with the with the One X release, which is basically you pay twenty five dollars a month for twenty four months, and you get an Xbox Series S and Game Pass Ultimate. And at the end of 24 months, you own the console. Or you pay $35 a month and you get a Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And after 24 months, you own the console. 
And the crazy thing is if you do the math, that is cheaper than buying the console outright and subscribing to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate every single month. That's crazy. So I, I was not sure that I wanted to pay $4.99 for the Series X because I don't really think it's worth $500. And it's and and just to be clear, this isn't bragging. It's nothing to do with money. I could I could drop that easily. I've got savings, plenty of savings. I could drop that. But I just don't see the point. I have a One X. The One X is fine. You know, there's not really next gen games that I desperately want to play that I can only play on the Series X. It's just not that type of console. But then I was looking at it and I'm like, I'm paying fifteen dollars a month for Game Pass Ultimate, which I love. It's a hundred percent worth the value. Why don't I just pay twenty dollars on top of that? and get the Series X. Because the thing is, I'm still going to be paying $15 a month, and I know I'm going to get the Series X eventually, maybe in a year from now. I might as well just get it now and yeah. save. I think it's like, I think I save like 20 or 30 bucks in the long run that way. Um, yeah, yeah, you save 20 bucks on the Series X with this plan, and you save, um, you save $60. Wow. Off the Series S. Yeah, because you're basically paying $240 for the Series S. Yeah. Because you get $15 worth of Game Pass Ultimate with it. You know, my Wookiee is terrifying, Midnight. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll go grab a basic profession. I just saw in my inventory I had a land speeder and I can generate it. So I'm going to go out here. Um, the one thing I wanted to say while we're on this topic is uh, the best part of these leaks coming out and Microsoft confirming it is there was mm -hmm. this one guy who was... He must have been replying to Wario64 or something. But he goes, man, this is great news because now Sony's going to sweep in with their 350 PS5. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they're just going to... Because Sony's going to undercut Microsoft. I'm like, no. There is no they, way that is look, happening. They could. They could. But they would have to have some major cojones because the latest rumors are saying they are struggling to get the production cost of that console down from like four hundred and eighty dollars so yeah i was like what i was so, like the so, guy was so genuine yeah. about it too he's like i know i'm like oh man i'm so looking forward to this news because sony's gonna undercut him and i'm like that's not yeah. gonna happen i think the best estimate right now and the estimate that i have is 500 for the ps5 450 for the all digital or the digital only version um but the way the rumors have been going the industry insiders are saying it's going to be tough for P for Sony to even hit the 500 price point that it may be 600 or, fi or 550 and it it's just crazy like i like i'm thinking about it. okay so when i when i was in high school when i was in college i could barely afford these consoles right yeah. like they they were expensive like i bought a, an Xbox 360 at launch and after that i bought i had to scrap and save to do that and then I bought maybe two games for it a year because that's all that I could afford. But if I'm looking at this and I'm saying, wait a minute, all I have to do is pay $25 a month for two years and I get a next gen console day one and I get hundreds of games day one that are constantly being updated. That's an incredible value yeah, that's and crazy. very easy. That's very easy to market to consumers. It's very easy to market to parents as well. It's like, no, no, don't buy your kid a $300 console. Just pay $25 a month. You'll get it. There's no interest, no money down, and you get all these games with it, so you don't have to keep buying up games. It's yeah. it's it's a no-brainer. It's crazy what Microsoft has done. They have a game, they have a console that has no exclusives for the next gen. Has no exclusive like hardware, basically. There's no exclusive controllers, etc. And yet they're killing it by completely changing the the way that it's marketed and sold. Yeah. Um yeah, I, I, oh, I'm Star Starlack Pit. Yeah, I, I. How do I bring up? Um, like a bigger. How do I bring up the I'll like, look up the, bigger map? I know there's a map terminal. Probably my bad yeah, for missing. I'll bring up. You know, me, so I'm I'll curious from the chat. What are you guys thinking about the Xbox Series S, Series X? I know we're we're uh, big on it. It's. I think it's just because we've been so impressed by the One X. The One X is a killer system. And the Series X looks even better. It's like that plus Game Pass. That's um, true. What happens if... I guess you would just... Yeah, that's true. You know, I can look it up. I can look it up because that, that system already exists. 
for the one X and the one S. So I can already look it up. Okay. The other thing is that you can buy it at several different retailers. Like I think Target, Best Buy, Walmart are gonna have it. So you don't necessarily have to like go through a Microsoft website. You can get it through a different Once retailer. Okay. Arrakis. Here we go. Yeah, great pit of cartoon. So, uh, activate waypoint. And then... Ah, there it is. This one. Let's go. Hello, sir. Yeah, PS4 back compatibility is is good on the PS5. I'm very excited to get the PS5 one day so I can finally play Bud Bloodborne at more than 25 frames per second. I can't I wait for that a, to Can I buy a ticket? Maybe I can buy a ticket. There's that spaceport. Midnight's telling me it's a long trip. Yeah, I um. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm definitely because I was I wasn't on the fence. It was either. Um, like as for PlayStation, they needed to be like, "Hey, these are this, this, and this game, um, is out mm -hmm. launch day." Like if they were like, "Demon Souls is out launch day," or blah 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 blah, I'd probably get a PS5. But the Xbox, the like, Karen wanting to use my Xbox more, and then being able to stick that in the other room on a different TV, and then just getting a more powerful what I'm already using, like it's yeah. kind of a no brainer. Um. Like, I, but are you gonna, are you gonna buy it outright? Or are you gonna buy the um, the all access? I might just do the all access because that's a better. I mean, it yeah. kind of depends on what I can get my hands on. Like, if I try to sign up for that yeah, and they're like true. too many people, uh, then I, I might. Okay, how do I ungenerate my uh, land speed, or do I just leave it here? Sweet bowcaster. Thanks. I'll hold the right click. Midnight Fox. So friggin' helpful. Okay, so the current... The current Xbox All Access program is... You're, you're actually opening a line of credit with a bank. No upfront cost. Set monthly price, 0% APR. So I believe they would, I don't think they can, If I think if you fail to pay, I don't think they can repossess your console, <laughs> but they would come after you for the full amount. So it's the same as, as any other official financing plan in a way. Oh no, where? Yeah, they could, they could send debt collectors for you if you start missing your Go payments. to most. Rasnard. Most so it, it is a little sketchy, but but I'm less worried about it just because it's it's zero interest rate, it's zero money down, it's it's just a little sketch because it's a monthly payment that you have to pay every month. But I mean, I'm already doing that. Like my Adobe Creative is a year long. I'm locked into a year for that for the current rate. So. Okay. It's just a little weird because there's a physical object involved. I like waiting for <laughs> Midnight's to just tell me what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> um, but speaking of Game Pass Ultimate, we do have one more piece of news about Game Pass Ultimate that also came out on that day. Crazy. I, I feel like Xbox, I know they had to quick react, but they really should have just come out with a press conference 30 minutes with all these bangers coming out. EA Play, which is basically the EA version of Game Pass where you have access to their catalog of games and you can play them. You don't get day one access to their brand new games, but you get like a 10 hour trial where basically you're playing the full version of the brand new game for up to 10 hours. Um, yes. It's now included with Game Pass. So before that is a $5 per month value, but it's now free. And I don't know if you've looked at the EA Play catalog, but it's a lot of good stuff. It's like KOTOR 1, KOTOR 2, a lot of other Star Wars games, a lot of older, um, a lot of older Battlefield games. I think actually, I think it's all of the Battlefield. And it's games. in. Uh, it's in Game Pass. Now. Game Pass. 
Yes, and I, I I may need to confirm this, but I'm pretty sure it is not it is not the type of deal where it's like, oh, you, you're signed up for Game Pass? Well, you can also sign up for EA Play. I think it's just incorporated within it now, which makes it even easier. <laughs> um yeah it's it's just like it okay we sh full disclosure we shot a video about this this past weekend it's going to come out on monday just talking about the difference in strategy between sony We're and microsoft <laughs> i saw that <laughs> okay. um but Sony is just sticking with the traditional model of here's our console, has a brand new controller, brand new hardware, brand new exclusive titles. Forget about old gen. We've got PS4 backwards compatibility, but nothing past that. It's all about the future. And there's a single price for it. And they can do that because they have the exclusives to back that up. Mm -hmm. And they have the pedigree and they, they've really killed it the PS4 generation. But Microsoft is doing something crazy here and I think it's crazy good for the industry. You know, it's it's getting rid of that hard to swallow generational yeah. gap. Um, it's, it's it's lowering the cost for people to get their foot in the door and start gaming. It's just it's great stuff, you know. Ian, I'm not sure if you uh, you knew, but uh, do you want to become famous? Because <clears throat> you went to BigFollows.com, you could buy followers, primers, primers, well, primes. You could buy primer did, on DVD um, if you want to watch it. Chrome, Control Shift N, bigfollows.com. Uh oh. Let's see what these rates are. <laughs> Let's see, these are followers. We don't need followers. We need, like, oh. We need lovers. Uh oh. Will, some of these rates are very reasonable. <laughs> William. <laughs> William Yosef, it's Crispers. Yes, sir. How much do you think it costs to get 200 followers for our account? $3. Very close, two dollars and ten cents. Really? We should buy yeah. followers, guys. It's but look, <laughs> guess how many followers we get for a hundred dollars? A hundred thousand? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand? Yes. Okay, let's talk about subscribers. This is weird, doing? but wait a minute. How does that work? How, okay, wait a minute. Guess how much it costs for one subscriber? A hundred thousand dollars. Two dollars. Wait, but I thought a hundred. <laughs> I know, I know, but a subscriber pays oh. five dollars. Wait, what? 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 Yeah, maybe it is stolen credit cards. Hint of lime. Seventy dollars for fifty. Wait, so wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. So we pay them two dollars. Well, actually, I think we. Two dollars is about what we make off of a single subscriber. If I did the math properly, at the end of the day, but. If we paid $70, then we get 50 subscribers, which is $100. So we pay $70, and then we get $100 on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a good idea. We should just open a null Twitch account and do that. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's talk about viewers. That's right. We can get live viewers. Live viewers. Those have got to be expensive. 50 oh. viewers. Guess how much? 50 this viewers. For one, 50 viewers for one hour. $200. $2. <gasps> <Found the starlight. laughs> okay, let's talk to the high end. How much does it cost to get 200 viewers for one hour? Um, sorry, $7. Sorry. $7.90. For two hours of 50 followers, you said? For one hour of 200 viewers. It's not bad. Not bad, honestly. Uh, finally, we're going to talk about views. So views are basically just, it's like total number of views for your for your channel. Should I go to, um, wait, should I go to Ben Kenobi's Ben's house or Arrakis? Arrakis. No, that's so far away. Oh, let's go to all of them. I'm going to go to Java's Palace. So for 10,000 views oh, to our okay. channel, $30. All right, so let me Over just do here. some math. I'll go to Jabba's, and then we'll go to Lard. All right, so William, if we pay 
$200, we get 30,000 followers, 50 subscribers, and 10,000 views. Wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's what, not bad. What have we been doing all this hard work for? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just seems like um, a better... Uh-oh. Why is, why is my eyes going weird? Why is my eyes going weird? Oh, I uh, got faction influence. Oh, that guy looks... Wait, is that the guy from the cantina? No. Wait, what is it? An insane catonic. You gotta go talk to that goober. No, he was a scary goober. What else was this I This game's actually up? pretty good. I, I want to give it its proper due. It is, sure. yeah. Um, guys, this is... Yeah, so I think it's just like... Uh, Sony... I'll probably get a PS5 eventually, but it depends on what exclusives they come out with. But with the Xbox, it's like... I know this is going to sound like a real dumb consumer move, but it just... It's so cheap to get a Series S or Series X that it's like, if I'm already paying $15 a month for Game Pass Ultimate, then I might as well just put 10 or 20 bucks on top of that yeah. and get a next gen console. I hear you. I hear you, Midnight's Fox. PC, I, I tell you what... Next Thursday, I believe, is RTX card order date, and I am going to be baking up an RTX 3080 on that date because Daddy needs it. That's awesome. Um, so Hint of Lime, coming to Xbox, is nothing. Well, that's not quite true. Gears so, Tactics. <laughs> no, Xbox. So um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh, oh someone's, thank uh, you. I'll wait for it to pop up and read it again. Oh no, the Master. The Greater um, Desert Wolf Rat. Thank you, X Bro, X O Bro. Oh no. So, the we that's the weird thing about Xbox is that it's not necessarily. I feel like with Xbox, it's not necessarily thinking about exclusives, at least for this launch window. Did you run over yourself? No, uh, this Greater Desert Wolf Rat knocked me out of my thing. I stood. I stood up. Don't worry. No. Um. So that's the weird thing with Xbox is that it's not necessarily about console exclusives. It's about getting next gen technology and playing multi platform games on a next gen console. On a and because they've lowered the price point to three hundred dollars for the Series S. It's basically like, okay, let's say you want to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, right, on launch day. You can buy it for a current gen console. Or you can play it on a next-gen console for $300. Or you can play it on a next-gen console on the PS5 for $500. So it's it's not so much that they're going after exclusives. It's They're offering the Game Pass library, but they're also offering a cheaper way to play next-gen multi-platforms. So it's... Yeah. I, I really... I, I sound like an Xbox shill, but I just... That's a really good value. Ian, I clone myself. Is that how you resurrect? Yeah, and my my bowcaster came with me because it's part of my DNA. You want to hear something stupid? PS Five. Yeah. No. Tell me something. <gasps> There's an insurance terminal. We have to look at this. Oh, I I keep forgetting that cloning exists in Star Wars. You know, it's the crux of a few films. <laughs> I know. I know. I keep forgetting. That's why, like, when the Palpatine came back, I was like. Well, well, how did he come back? And they're like, he was cloned. I was like, oh, cloning. That's so stupid. That doesn't even exist in Star Wars. And then it took me like 10 seconds. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. It does. They do. I will say they do a really good job of having cloning exist, but they don't like use it as a cheap plot point all the time. Yeah, there's no you know, they've only, I think they've only abused it once with Palpatine. That's it. Yeah. Which it wasn't even an original idea because that's what happens to Palpatine in the those old Jedi books anyways. Oh, in Thrawn? Like, it, not in Thrawn. I think it's the Jedi Academy books. Oh, okay. Uh, that he clones himself. Or he hid clones around the galaxy. Um, and it was just like, uh, it's so stupid. Like, you yeah. your own ideas. Your bars got wounded. Your bars got wounded since you died. So help me out, Midnight. So red, the red bar is health. The green bar is stamina. And the blue bar is like skill points maybe oh what is this bloodborne my 
Dark Souls, Demon Souls, my my Baza down, my, my daddy's holes. What is this? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just getting back in my lane speed. Uh, red is health, green is action, blue is mind. Got it. Yeah, I, like I blew your mind. I guess my daddy's here. <laughs> um, oh, crap. I, there was something else I was gonna say back at the Xbox conversation. But I don't remember what it was. But what do you? When do you think Sony's gonna say anything now? When they come in so with that banging three fifty dollar PS Five? <laughs> there was a there was a pretty funny there was a very funny um, tweet today by Jeff Grubb who was just like, "Well, Sony was planning to announce something this week, so it either has to be today or next week." <laughs> and somebody else was like, "Why not tomorrow?" And somebody else was just like, "It's nine eleven tomorrow." <laughs> I know, it's like, oh yeah, that's a good point. You probably don't want to be like, tune into our 9-11 press conference. Yeah. So, oh, so they, they've they got to come out soon. Uh, you know, it's funny. I don't know. What is their press conference going to be? It's going to be like, hey, here's the date. Here's the price. The date is rumored to be a week after. It's rumored to be after the Xbox. So that's probably either the 13th, which is the Friday after the Xbox, or Damn. the... 17th is what a lot of people are saying is a Tuesday. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because it's health, action, yeah. mind. It's the ham bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, Elden Ring. They could show Elden oh. Ring because that's the thing is, is what are they going to... They're going to announce the date for the console, the price of the console, a date for some of the games like Spider-Man. They need to... If it's a launch game, they need to say that mm -hmm. or at least put a date on it a couple weeks later. But, but Elden, Elden Ring's not PS exclusive. It's it's not because well, it was it was announced at a Microsoft E3 event, wasn't it? Let me look it up. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not saying it uh, won't be. No, on you're PS5. you're right because it's P. It's it's on. Whoa. I'm looking at it on PC Gamer. So, Ian, guess what this is without reading it. It's uh oh, it's from the from the yeah yeah from the from the. Uh, what's it called? The Tantiv 4? Yeah, wow. Escape pod? Pretty cool. Man, I don't know. Maybe it's a timed exclusive. Or, you know what? I think even if they just have it at the press conference, it's a win. Bloodborne 2. Oof. I don't know about that. Man, Bloodborne I, 2 would be awesome. They got a Ratchet and Clank they have not announced. I don't think, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they have actually announced any PS5 launch titles, just a lot of holiday titles, like Ratchet and Clank and stuff. I really want to try Demon Souls. Uh, I watched my friend play through a lot of it in college. Mm -hmm. um, he's the friend who got me into Dark Souls to begin with. So I, I, I do want to watch, I do want to check out the remaster and see what it's like. So the current Jedi system in Emu you to find a number of badges oh slash che like the revolutionary you feel no connection with the force yep ain't that the truth oh no oh god yeah, cool so let's go through ps5 exclusive and first party ps5 games confirmed so far horizon forbidden west that has a 2021 date spider-man i'm sorry Marvel's Spider-Man colon I'm sorry, Marvel's Spider hyphen Man colon Miles Morales, uh, holiday 2020. So they could announce that as the launch title. <laughs> Zero midichlorian. Grand Gran Turismo Seven does not have any date. That's probably a year or two away. They're pretty slow with those games. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, or as Kyle Bossman calls it, Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart, Ripped a Fart. Excuse me. Ratchet and Clank Ripped a Fart. Isn't that the does not have isn't that the point? Aren't all the Ratchet and Clank names bad? Is like it... uh, dirty? I'm gonna look it up. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't that know. Is the pun? No, I thought I thought the pun is that rift apart, as in there's like, but also ripped. Oh, I guess you're right. That is probably more the accurate ripped, pun. Rift. Yeah. Yeah, what, is, what are the other Ratchet and Clanks? Here we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I just go. want something really horrible, like, like, <laughs> like banged and smacked or something. Oh, you know what? I think you, you're kind of so it's Ratchet and Clank. Then it's Going Commando, 
Yeah. Up, up your arsenal. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Tools of destruction, quest for booty, crack in time into the nexus. So it's a little, it's a little tongue in cheek. There's Demon Ratchet Souls Clank. does not uh, have a date. Kill your girlfriend? I really don't know what that one is. Oh, uh, butt crack, or maybe a crank in time? Got him. <laughs> Cr crank in time? Um, <laughs> I didn't think it's, about a, it's a speed run game. Can, can I just say, um, I, I just got an update from an Amazon order, and yeah. I didn't think it was going to come today, and then it said out for delivery, and I was like, oh, it's just someone misscanned it while putting it back for tomorrow. It's seven stops away, and it's 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, man. That, I've, well, never gotten a, like, I've never gotten a package when, that late. When you mistreat your employees, they can do wonderful things for you. Ian, yeah, look at this. Oh, that's good. Iron Family Works? Let me in! Do it. How do I get in? Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart has been officially announced for the no! PS5 launch window. Quote-unquote launch window, which is like... I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about, they're like, what does Sony consider the launch window? Probably like the first six months. What do we consider the launch window the first two months? You know? This is crazy. Demon Souls. No release date. Project a Athia. Athia. No release date. Returnal. No release date. Sackboy Big Adventure. No release date. Astro's <laughs> Playroom is a pack-in. I do know about that. Destruction All Stars, no release date. Godfall late 2020. So, they really don't have. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I see that. Hinta Line says they said launch window because they can't share the console launch date yet. Uh, um. Hi. So the PS5 is PS5 is going to be. They're going to have their exclusives, which I, if I had to bet right now is just Ratchet and Clank, and. Uh, Spider-Man in terms of launch date exclusives. But then they're also going to have the multi-platforms like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, um, Watch Dogs Legion, um, Cyberpunk comes out a week or two after the console, presumably. But at that point, it's like, look, I don't know about you, but the One X was a lot better than the PS4 Pro. And this is pure conjecture, but I bet the Series X is going to be a better console than the PS5 in terms of like raw performance. So if I'm looking at it and I'm going, I'm really just going to be playing a bunch of multiplayer games. I mean, a multi-platform games. I think it's up, in, and up I can... ahead midnight. Midnight? What? No, I'm just answering him while you're talking. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm going on a rant here, but this this no, like... No, do it. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Stuff, man. It's, it's like, it, okay, so I'm looking at it like, I have a PC, so some of these games are going to be playing on PC. Hi, Maggie. Um, um, midnight. If you what? What's the difference between playing this and the Legends one? Like, which which would you recommend? Anyways, continue your rant. What's Maggie? What did Maggie Will. do to you? Hi, Will. God. She had to plug in her Fitbit, and now she's was like staring at the stream like it was foreign technology. Oh, do you like my setup, Maggie? Um. Hint of Lime says, play my PS4 games in 4K. That sh the PS5 should be able to do that. But the weird thing is they're saying, like, select. So they have not sent, they have not officially said which PS4 games. Whereas the Xbox has said, every game you can play on the Xbox One, you can play on an Xbox Series X slash S. I still want to be a... Legends is the dumbed down version. Is is Legends what they called the final update that changed a lot of the game? Turned into a normal MMO since they were trying to make it like wow. Down the bottom, new player tutorial. Yeah, so it it is checked. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> is that version any good? I I would totally check that out if it's uh. Damn hint of line. I'm so jealous. He's got the he's got the fat PS3. The one. The specific fat, fat PS3 that can play PS2 oh, games, etc. Yeah. That, that's the one my buddy had. You can get them fairly cheap, can't you? No, you can't. They're like $350, $400. I've been really? looking for one for like a year. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know... Um, I didn't know 
PS3s can natively play PS1. Yes. Yes, they can. I never knew that. Um, yeah, whereas PS5, PS5 only plays PS4 games, and they have not released the list. So, I think it's all PS3s play it. Yes. Yes. All that was PS3s. like the weird thing. I think, I think it's all PS3s play PS1 games, but only the select PS3 plays the PS2 games. Um, you know, actually, that's a good point. Let's let's do PS3 backwards compatible. OK, here it is. All PlayStation 3 systems can play most PS1 games. Certain PS3 systems have the ability to play disc based PS2 software titles. All PS3 systems have the ability to play downloaded PS1 and PS2 classics. Um, and it's it's like a majority of PS3 consoles that cannot play PS2s. It's only the launch 80, 60, and 20 gigabyte ones that can. And they have to have... Basically, if your PS3 has four USB ports, then you can play PS2 games on. Disc-based PS2 games. Yeah. It was like a launch. Something they did for launch, which is great. And then they just took it out. <laughs> um, Wait, now it's saying yeah, my it's just package kind of... isn't coming. Maybe. Oh, maybe it just didn't. It's just, it's just like, I'm, I'm just trying to think of the gamer who is looking at the, the, the games coming out this fall. And they're like, I want to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I want to play Watch Dogs Legion. I want to play Cyberpunk 2077. You know? And they don't want to play on PC because they don't have a PC or they just prefer not PC. And so they're looking at the consoles and they're going PS5, $500. They will have better exclusives in the future. But at the same time, I could get the Series S for $300 or the Series X for $500. Or I could just get the payment plan with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate yeah, and play all these games that I want to play, plus get more games backwards compatible and Game Pass games, etc. So it's like Sony's in a bind. They got to come up with some banger exclusives out the box. Yeah. Thanks for the explanation, Midnight, by the way. Oh, I can go in this person's house. Um, he was saying, or uh, they were saying that uh, Emu, like, mostly just lets you do anything you want, mix and match all the classes and stuff, versus uh, oh, yeah. uh, the Legends is more like World of Warcraft, which as someone who loves yeah. World of Warcraft um, might check that out. Yeah. Trespassing I think right I think PS5 is a wait a year or two to buy it. Maybe wait for Horizon 2 whenever that comes out in 2021. Um, but the, the other thing about Xbox is I was looking at it and I was like, I'm probably going to buy a Series X next year, right? Or in two years. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'm going to I'm going to be the entire time I'm going to be paying for Game Pass Ultimate. So why not just go ahead and buy the Series X now at a slight discount with my Game Pass Ultimate and I'll have it for the entirety of the next two years? Yeah. The door's making that noise. I thought it was a creature breathing. <laughs> it barely makes sense, but it's yeah. just enough sense for me to buy it. So. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. I it's midnight. I thought you wrote breast handler. <laughs> <laughs> so confused. We, we told you we're not playing Second Life. <laughs> Man, I'm so pissed about that. I really wanted to play Second Life. <laughs> I know, and we just we'd have to do it as a separate video, and we're just too lazy to do yeah. that nowadays. It's been good. With the guy we saw at the beginning who was running around with the the beast behind him, was he a beast handler? Must have been. You ever played Second Life, Will? No, I mean I have an account now. <laughs> I I think I played it twice, similar to Galaxies, where I like played it for like an hour each time, just messing around. It's it's just like a really wonky, ugly, hard to interact with game, but at the same time, it's just got all this weird stuff. Maybe we should do an episode of it. I'd be into it. 
to tape. I mean, we can do it. Oh, well, I guess we can't do it. We can't do it live because now that you mentioned it, it, there is a lot of adult content. So, yeah. you know what? Just open Chrome incognito. I'm going to go to where should I go to rule 34.xxx. No, I want to find good examples. I'll just type it in. good examples of adult content in second life. Look, there's a razor cat here. Hello, found razor the... cat. Hi. The Linda that monster Lab factory uh, mm -hmm. that the McElroys did, it, I still think is extremely funny. Of uh, the okay, here we go. of Second Life. Linden Lab, who's the developer of Second Life, this is the adult content frequently asked questions. Um, okay, here we go. Adult activities cannot be advertised or publicly promoted. Such activity must occur privately behind closed doors on moderate land and is forbidden on general land. So I guess moderate is like... Oh, it looks like there's three lands. There's general land, which is like forbids it. There's moderate land, which is behind closed doors. Uh, adult land allows you to just show it everywhere. Ian, do you think we could get into Second Life and find someone who will do adult things with us? <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Depending on context, nudity may not require an adult rating. Ooh. For example, all of the following could be rated moderate. A nude beach without sexual activity. Skin vendors showing a nude skin to display the product. Nude art that is not sexual. Strip clubs that do not use adult words in search or host sex furniture. Uh, so no, we can't line. stream it on Twitch, unfortunately. We can't <laughs> stream it on Twitch. I was thinking about streaming it on YouTube, but... That may get us banned as well. So we'll just have to do the Rihanna Rouge content route, which is where we record it. We stream to tape. And then we blur out the recording as needed. Yeah. Yeah, I was um, surprised it was banned. And it was banned in 2015, too, which is... That's crazy. Miles ago. But I guess you they probably got enough infractions that it was just not worth policing folks i think i'm gonna stop playing <laughs> star wars galaxies you know um, what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go to yeah you can keep other... you can keep going to websites i'm just letting people know i just um, haven't found any pictures yet that's all i'm saying i might check this back out with a serious character um it's fun this is probably this isn't the most fun we've had doing one of these the most fun still i think was that asheron's call one i really enjoyed playing that game and it felt good. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah. yeah, Toontown, the last time I did this was rough. Actually, EVE Online with Jake was really fun. Uh, we had a good time doing that. Um, yeah, oh, that's totally a good midnights. idea. Yeah. Um, my Fox. Yeah, send me... Um, if you uh, join our Discord, community Discord, which mm -hmm. uh, if Ian can push the links now on the Twitchers... Um, I'm Hunt270 on there. If you just want to email me, email me, message, or just message me about it, and uh, we can set aside a time and maybe play some Star Wars Galaxies and then uh, stream it. Uh, I'd be totally down with doing that. And taking um, another look at this. And I also want to check out the Legends version. Virgin. The Legends yes. version is what I want to check out. Uh, yeah, so the next game on the bucket, on the bucket list, on the list, um, I'm going to pull that up. I don't have that. City of Heroes. City of Heroes, which I believe is the game that had that private server exposed and then people were hurt. Um, yes. Oh, that Discord link. link? Okay. Um, and, like, all that sort of stuff happened. So I want to check that out. I had a friend uh, whose brother was... I, I think he played it, but his brother was, like, obsessed with City of Heroes. Um... And then I think also Champions Online is on there too, but that might be, uh, I might have marked that one differently. Um, yeah, I just heard there's a lot of like, it was more of like just the fantasy of making your own superhero. Um, so that'll be next week. I gotta do some uh, stuff into that. Uh, I think Champions Online is on the list as well, but that came after. I'm not crazy. Uh, yeah. 
But we're Subpixel. This was our first Twitch affiliate stream, which is kind of exciting. Um, so in 24 hours, you'll be able to watch this again on our YouTube channel. That's subpixelfilms.com. You can check it out there. You can leave a comment. You can do whatever you want. Or you don't have to. You can also subscribe to us. There's also bits in things. I don't know how they work. I should probably look up how they work. Um, you can, like, give us things or bits. And then we can have custom things now, I think. And we can have things pop up and make noises to scare us. I don't know. Really? Oh, man, that's not a bad idea for our spooky pixel this year. Oh, Just have, no. like, a scream. And that if they give us, like, terrifying. five bits, a woman screams and... Oh, this is a good idea. I love it when women scream, uh, to be honest. You know what? So. Yeah, there's nothing like a good woman scream. <laughs> Folks, thank you for watching. Um, I'm I'm going to go put this back in the box after this, but I'm excited to have finally played it. Um, thank you, Hint of Lime. Please continue to work on your games and post them, because I like seeing them. Um, i got to work on my roguelike, speaking of working on games. Um... I'm Hunt270 on Twitter. That's at Think Gibson on Twitter above me. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you liked uh, everything we're doing here. Just messed this up. Uh, Just before go. you go. That's what I wanted. Before we go. We do, we do have another stream on Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. We're not sure what it's going to be yet, but it may just be Fire Emblem on GameCube. Maybe. Ooh, that's pretty good. Show up, check it out. You should check it out. Um, yeah, man, this I think this uh, the stream layout I built today looks pretty good. I added a second camera. Crazy. Thank you for the follow, Midnight's Aww. Fox. Thank Midnight's you. Fox. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, and we will see you guys. If not Saturday, we'll see you next Tuesday for some brothers in armor. Bye. Yeah.